Well, guys, the Russell Media Clown Show is stepping up as more allegations fly in and now the government is directly implicated in the actual censorship because the Attorney General, Victoria Prentice, put out some warning threatening the media and general public to take legal advice before posting about it. You what? Oh yeah, the dopey trout actually wrote this crap despite it being literal fake news. Here she said, Following the airing of Russell Brand in plain sight dispatches on the 16th of September 2023, there has been extensive reporting about Russell Brand, well no shit Sherlock. The Attorney General wishes to amplify the importance of not publishing any material where there's a risk that it could prejudice any potential criminal investigation or prosecutions. Publishing this material could amount to contempt of court. Well, I'm pretty sure the trial by media has already done that, but it's still not contempt of court, so... Bollocks. Editors, publishers and social media users should take legal advice to ensure they're in a position to fully comply with the obligations to which they are subject under the common law and Contempt of Court Act 1981. The Attorney General's office is monitoring the coverage of these allegations. Now, the fact she's meant to know the law makes me wonder if she's a diversity hire because none of that is legally correct. First, to be in contempt of court under the 1981 Act, there needs to be, at the very least, an arrest warrant issued, and that's at the time of publication, which obviously there's not, and as I said, she's meant to know that. Secondly, the common law thing she cited was abolished like 40 years years ago, so once again she's either outright lying or has no idea about the law and so should be sacked instantly. In fact, it makes you wonder how the hell she got the job, but Parliament is a corrupt nest of vipers, so maybe she kissed the right brown eye to get it. Pull your tongue out of my arsehole. Either that or she's the best lawyer in there, which is really worrying for a bunch of bloody reasons. Now, the fact she's put this out without any criminal proceedings going on only adds fuel to the fire when it comes to this looking like a hit job by both the state and media scumbags now. And that's even more so when you factor in Caroline Drainage and her letters to social media companies last week, all based on allegations and, of course, tried by media. It's almost like they know next month the online safety bill will be in full swing and they're testing out the waters for how far they can take their censorship plans. I mean, the UN has screamed screaming about shutting down free speech and let's be real, this lot are all sock puppets of them and the WEF, so it really wouldn't bloody surprise me. Digital platforms are being misused to subvert science and spread disinformation and hate to billions of people. This clear and present global threat demands clear and coordinated global action. But the fact she's even threatening social media users just solidifies to me that this trout not only needs to lose her ministerial position, but also needs to be removed from her seat as the MP of Banbury. Hopefully we're going to see that soon. <laughs> Jog on. Pandemic. Where are